Hey, thanks, Glenn. Good day, Adam. I'm, I'm guessing the game in Chicago is the first game you had circled on the calendar this year. That one didn't happen. Uh, what will this one be like for you playing against your old mates? Uh, yeah, obviously it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, you know, I've uh, been there for in the organization for three years, so I know everyone pretty well. And, uh, you know, it's going to be good to compete against them. And, uh, you know, it's going to be a lot of fun for sure. Can you say how you found out that you were involved in the Jones trade last year, what, what that night was like for you? Uh, I found out on Instagram, actually, so... Uh, yeah, it was a little bit surprising, but uh, I'm happy now. I'm here in Columbus, and uh, I like it here a lot. Uh, I like the city. I like the teammates. I like, I like the organization, so uh, I'm enjoying my time here. Yeah, and what do you feel like the opportunity is like for you here? This is a very young team. You're still a young player. Uh, your role within this team and, and how you could fit in the years to come? Uh, yeah, I think, uh, you know, uh, uh, we're a young team, but also I think uh, we're a very skilled team. We have a lot of different skill in our team, uh, a lot of speed. Uh, I think if we we use our, our our skills in the right way, I think uh, we're a hard team to play against. And uh, you know, I think uh, you know you see Silly and Chinny and the young guys uh, coming in and uh, doing a great job, and uh, it looks good for the future. How many former Blackhawks have you stayed in touch with? Do you have a lot of guys on, on your text list still? Uh, yeah, uh, I talk to uh, a few guys uh, uh, here and there. You know, I always uh, check, uh, check up on them uh, once in a while. And I, I actually went and uh, uh, had Christmas uh, with the Brinkett. So uh, it was good to see him there. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to see him tomorrow. Any side bets on this game tomorrow night? What's that? Any side bets on this game tomorrow night with those guys? Uh, no. Uh, I think we all know they have number 88 there and number 12 that can shoot the puck. So uh, we got to be ready for, for that when they're on the ice. Uh, but otherwise, we're just going to focus on us. Great. Thank you. Okay, next we'll go to Tracy Myers. Go ahead, Tracy. Hi, Adam. Good to see you again, at least uh, virtually. I just wanted to ask you how things have been going in Columbus in terms of what you've been able to pick up from coaches, from uh, defensive partners in, in your time there. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I think it's been uh, very good for me. You know, uh, it's, a, it's a different. Chicago is a little bit older group uh, and here it's younger, you know. Uh, and obviously, uh, with Mac as a D coach, he's uh, he want to help us to get better. And uh, we have a lot of a lot of D here that want to play. Uh, so you got to compete every practice, uh, you know. So uh, I think that's good. That's helping our back end uh, to to play at our best every game. Uh, so it's uh, it's been a lot of fun so far here. Okay. Next, we'll go to Dave Metzel. Go ahead, Dave. Thanks, Len. Uh, Adam. For lack of a better term, you guys have returned to somewhat of a, a routine schedule here since all the disruptions in December. Uh, players in, players out, that type of thing. You're getting healthier. How much has that helped you uh, in terms of just consistency preparing for each game each night? Uh, yeah, obviously, uh, we test every day, so you never know if you're positive or not. But you just got to do what you, uh, you told to do, you know. Uh, you should uh, wear your mask and you know wash your hands and uh, stay safe and don't uh, don't uh, do anything you don't want to do or, or stuff like that. So obviously you want to play every night and uh, that's that helps your helps your body to pre prepare as well for the game and stuff. Your head and the right mindset. So uh, it's been good. Does it feel just a little more? "Quote unquote normal," because again, you're starting to play games more regularly. The practices are coming more regularly. Uh, does it seem a little more normal? And if it does, how how is that beneficial to you? Yeah, uh, uh, I like to uh, play right away. Uh, me and Z was talking about the uh, the other game uh, that we don't like the when when they flush the ice, we're just going to go out there and play. So uh, I like yeah. Uh, when well, there's not many two days in between, uh, sometimes it's nice with a day off uh, after back to back or so. But uh, I like when the games is just run right around the corner. 
And, and finally, Adam, uh, this game won't be between you and Seth, but a lot of people will be evaluating you two guys tomorrow night. How do you, how do you keep focused on just your team play as opposed to, you know, making it an individual thing? Uh, yeah, I think uh, my mindset is going to be like every game, every other game. You know, just go out there and uh, play at my best and uh, be smart and be strong, compete, uh, you know, so... Uh, but obviously it's going to be a little different with Chicago on the other side. So, but I'm sure it's going to be a lot of fun. Thanks, man. Enjoy it. Thanks. Okay. Next we'll go to Charlie Rumliotis, I believe. Hey, Adam, can you hear me okay? Yeah. Cool. Uh, what's been working so well for you this year? Seven goals, 14 points in 23 games. Where do you feel like you've taken that next step from your, your days in Chicago? Uh, I think... Uh, you know, uh, it's been uh, – uh, that's a good question. Uh, I don't know. I think uh, I'm just uh, playing uh, playing like I can't play, you know. Uh, and then, obviously, uh, we've been pretty good, uh, you know, scoring a lot of goals. And uh, our PP was clicking there at one point. And, uh, you know, uh, I think uh, – uh, I, I've been learning more how to play in this league now. Uh, you know, I think I'm playing my 100th game tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, just uh, just uh, be more pre prepared for every game and uh, take care of my body and be professional. Thank you. Okay. Next we'll go to Brian Hedger. Go ahead, Brian. Hey, Adam. Uh, just going back to that trade on, on draft night uh, last summer, um, did you or your agent have any kind of uh, idea that you might be traded before it happened? Uh, no, uh, uh, we didn't know anything, uh, actually. I know my, my, my agent talked to uh, uh, GM in Chicago uh, in the, uh, like right after the season or so because there was some rumors around, and he said uh, we won't trade Adam, but you know, it's a business. Uh, it happens, and uh, you know, there's nothing you can do about it. But uh, I'm happy in Columbus, and uh, there's here, here I want to be. Were you in Chicago or Sweden when that happened? When you learned? I was in Sweden. Okay. Uh, were you watching the draft? Uh, yeah, uh, but the draft was kind of late, so in Sweden, so uh, I saw uh, a lot of news when I woke up in the morning. Oh, gotcha. Last one I got for you is, uh, you know, you mentioned obviously being with the Blackhawks through for you know three years with the organization. You got a chance to play with with Duncan Keith, I believe. Uh, what did you learn from your time, you know, being a defense partner of of Duncan? Yeah, uh, he was he was great for me. He was my mentor for two years. Uh, I played with him. We were D partners for almost two years as well. So. And I was sitting next to him on the plane, so we had to spend a lot of time together. And uh, you know, he's uh, he's a Hall of Famer, so uh, it's it's uh, not every day you learn from a guy like that. So that was uh, very special, and uh, he's a good friend of mine now. Is there stuff? Is there anything that you know from playing with him that you 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 take forward into you know the rest of your career that he does that maybe you want to do? Yeah, obviously, you know, uh, you can see he's uh, 38 years old and uh, one of the strongest guys in the league, I believe. So uh, he takes care of his body and he's, uh, yeah, no days off for him. And, uh, you know, he's, uh, he's a one of a kind and uh, he's, uh, he's very good on the ice as well. Thank you. Okay, and we'll wrap up with Ben Post. Go ahead, Ben. Hey, Adam, good to see you again virtually. Um, just kind of following up on Charlie's question, but how do you think your game has improved over the course of this season since coming to Columbus? Uh, I think, uh, you know, uh, my overall game has uh, been better. Uh, you know, uh, I think uh, my uh, strength uh, is better as well. Uh, been uh, been stronger now last summer and still still getting stronger so uh, I feel good out there and obviously it helps uh, when you play with Z as well he's a he's a great guy and great uh, hockey player and and I play a lot with uh, Gabrikov as well so uh, 
you know, it's uh, it's been a lot of fun out there. You know, I'm always having a smile on my face uh, when I'm on the ice, so I think that helps as well. So it's uh, it's it's good. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Adam.